Right guys, Drum in the Bowl. This is the new syndicate me and Steve May and Dave Marvel have joined this year. Uh, we joined in January. Um, we've done a few sessions before, just obviously getting to know the lake. Um, Steve was lucky, um, you know, he normally gets his, his hands in straight away. He managed to get two lovely little stockies out on his first trip, which sort of sets tone really. Um, I think it's like one of them lakes where it's obviously a big lake. Um, it's got obviously the sailing club, which are uh, out most evenings and stuff like that, which you have to be a bit mindful of. Um, but yeah, if you can get onto the fish normally, you, know, you get you stand a good chance of catching them. Uh, myself, I've managed to get onto the swim called the Swamp. Uh, I managed to get the first one out probably a couple of months ago, um, and we've done a few sessions since then. Um, but yeah, not really. I've not really managed to get everything sort of to click into place, kind of thing, to get just where the fish were. Um, anyway, we're joining on this session. Um, again, me and Steve came down on Wednesday, um, and this this far side, well, this bank basically was all taken. And in front of me here, there's like this large weed bed, um, and really all the fish at the minute are just sort of chilling out in the sun, um, enjoying themselves basically. Um, so we, we opted to go onto the man bank on the far side, which is, which gives us a bit of water where I've seen fish before. We saw a couple, um, and had a bit of space, and I thought, well, if the opportunity to like move arised, probably would do. Steve was only with one night anyway. Uh, we were doing some shoots um, for the stuff from the new gear that's coming out, which is absolutely sick. Um, so you have to keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, so basically, I've managed to get into the swamp again. Um, you don't get much, um, like I said, there's this bank of weeds right out in front. So I'm only, well, we've got one at nine wraps and one at seven, seven and a half wraps. So it's pretty close range stuff. Catapult him. Um, I did spot a little bit of 10 mils out. And also what I've been doing is using the uh, throwing stick and getting a little bit further, put it into the weed to try and draw them fish from the weed out onto the clear spots that are found on the perfect that each rod. Um, so yeah, so that's basically what I was doing yesterday. Um, and then probably what about 10 o'clock, something like that. I was obviously getting, well, I was getting picked up by coots pretty much the majority of the day, which is good in one thing, because uh, obviously you know you're presenting. Um, but the other side is, you know, you don't know what your rig, condition your rig's gonna be. So I was, I was actually gonna redo my, my rigs before dark, but then <clears throat> the fish, Came in numbers in front of me, and I could see the backs out cruising right over the spots. So I took a gamble and I thought, well, I'm just going to leave them be. Um, yeah, 10 o'clock came, um, right hand ripped off, um, and it was um, and that, well, it was about 18 pounds. I didn't weigh it to be quite honest with you. Um, it's because some of these have got like the, the ribs that are coming out the sides, so and not the, the prettiest fish in the pockets, but uh, it's still safe, it's blank saver. So I put that one back. Um, and then quickly did the rig, got it straight back on the same spot again and within 15 minutes it was away again. Another bit hard about this time, it managed to get me into a wee bird so I kept a bit of pressure on, um, let the fish naturally kick out. Once I got it moving again, walk backwards, reel to it and I managed to get into the water and net it safely. So yeah, and that was an absolute banger of a fish. Lovely scales on it and it came at £24 so yeah, really really chuffed with that one. So yeah, that brings me on to pretty much today. So yeah, I didn't like taking get much sleep last night with, with the rods. Had a couple of occurrences. Um, got up early, lovely morning this morning. Got up, seen a, seen a few. And again, it's the same scenario as yesterday. I've seen the dorsals in the actual weed again, sticking out, moving round. So I think it's gonna be the same principle again today. And they will just concentrate on keeping it pretty, pretty quiet, baiting up, little and often, get them into the weed, build the main areas up and then hopefully as it comes into that late evening time they'll draw back out the weed and onto my spot. So yeah hopefully I'll have uh, something to show you a bit later on or I'll update you on some, what tactics I've been doing. Right guys, 
guys, it's uh, in the afternoon, mid-afternoon now sort of thing. Um, what I did was, um, obviously got to about half 10, 11 o'clock. It's gone really, really warm here now. Um, fish started to move in, um, so I already decided to obviously reel in, put some bait out quickly, um, and let the fish just move around really, and just have a bit of a free feed, feel confident. Um, and I've, I've gradually seen more and more fish, which is pretty much similar to be to be fair, what happened yesterday. They kind of like were to my right, um, and then they sort of slowly, slowly drifted up. And then I'm expecting them to sort of sort of hang around here for a little bit, and then I think they will end up going back down there. So I'll end up picking a couple off. So my plan of attack now um, is just to get the rods back out now. I think just buy me time to see where they are, quickly get them out, hop in first cast. Um, yeah, and then just sit on them and then the bites did come sort of late evening, 10 o'clock last night. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan of attack. I'm just going to change areas slightly because the, obviously I've been getting picked up with the coots on the left and the right hand, which indicates that, you know, it is a lot cleaner in the middle of the rod and it's not really done much. So um, I'm thinking it's probably is a little bit more weed than I would, what I thought, so I've chosen to go for a chard on this on this one. Uh, that one? Um, only because I was thinking about a solid bag, but the, the plan being with obviously me scattering the Pacific tuna around the place, um, it's just getting them moving around. I didn't want them just to put a bag out and be something that's alien to what they've already been feeding on. So I thought chard presentation, if it's a little bit weedier out there, would be perfect. The other two I've got no problems with, obviously the, the, the right hand has been doing the fish, just need to get the left hander into play now. Um, so yeah, I just think it's a, again, it might have just been a bait thing, getting that bait, getting more confident. So yeah, what I've been obviously is the Pacific tuna this session, um, and what I did before I came, I soaked a load of it in water with the tuna L30, um, just to give it you know, a little bit more of an attraction when it was on the bottom, I had 10 millers and stuff like that. And then obviously now I've just been topping it up with 15 straight out of the bag now, because obviously I'm getting them out of the stick quite easily. Um, and yeah, they're just they're going out exactly where I want them. And then really then I'm just using a, a match the hatch really, cork ball, 15 mil pop up on the top. And again, what I've done with this, I've, got, I've been glugging these now for probably about three months, something like that, maybe four months in the same liquid again I just want to try and you know emphasize the hook bait a little bit more but match the hatch so they're just in feeding confidently and um, yeah hopefully I can snare a couple I'm feeling confident but certainly on that right hander it did a lot more it did the two fish um, just let's see hope now that I can get these other two rods working for me and then uh, yeah be a good session but I'll let you know later and see what happens cheers scrap but it's coming at 25 25 pound so literally made up with this one didn't think it would happen so quick but it did so we're gonna get this back hopefully safely and get the rod back out let's catch another so I'll keep you informed later on Finally looks like the fish have gone to the left hand rod. <clears throat> After casting it out, actually went down to a really, really good donk. 
So obviously the fish have been in there feeding whilst the rods have been out of the action. So looks like now I've got two now that are taking bites. So hopefully there'll be more and more to come. This one came in at 23. So uh, yeah, happy days. enjoyed this one um, three days on the bank haven't had that for a while um, obviously the move did pay off um, got into a group of fish which was sat on this weed um, yeah really really enjoyed it and made the most of it I was surprised yesterday that I got the bites when I did in the afternoon obviously it must have been the, the fish obviously coming into this area maybe with the, with it being rested or just generally just moving up and down its margin but yeah I'll take that all day long Feels like the action did come thick and fast yesterday more. Um, night time petered off, so I didn't really hear much in front. So I don't know whether or not them fish have obviously, you might have gone down to what was green handles or that sort of direction, but um, yeah, there's certainly no action for me in the night. Um, I woke up this morning though, a couple of fish are having a little bit of go in the weed with the temperatures being the way they are this weekend. It's 27, you know, mid July, aren't we? So uh, yeah, one or two still might have a little bit of a go but uh, I'll probably uh, give it an hour um, and just reel in now to be fair um, dry all my gear off um, yeah but I've really really enjoyed it so I hope you've enjoyed you've enjoyed this small diary piece I've been putting together like I say I've not done one for a while um, but uh, yeah so just keep safe and uh, I'll see you in the bank sometime